being sort of the hunter, sneaking up on teams a lot in March. Uh, what is it like this year to switch that role and be the hunted? Uh, you know, you never can predict what you like, what ranking you're going to get in, in terms of the Pac-12 and in the country. And so I think we just take it as a challenge. Um, being number three in the Pac-12, like that's still good. I mean, obviously, you want that number one spot, but um, the goal is to go out there every day and battle and um, take every opportunity. And every game is an experience and it's something new, but um, we're just going to play our best game and hopefully our outcome will be a positive one. Which role do you prefer, to be the hunted or the hunter? I think that's a hard question. Um, I think I don't really have a preference. I think it's either way. I mean, you're going you're gonna to either be the, the winner or the loser. And so um, you have to come out there with a, um, a game plan and be, uh, be able to execute that game plan and hopefully become come out number one. Top to bottom, talent-wise, where does this team <coughs> rank in the other compared to the other three teams that you've been a part of here? You know, each group's been different um, in terms of talent, in terms of who we have at different positions. Obviously, the post this year, we don't have a ton of experience like we've had in the last couple of years. Like with Ruth, like we knew what we were going to expect from her. We knew what we were going to expect from Marie and Bree. And so um, with this year, like Joe has, um, she's gotten so much better. She's um, developed her skills immensely. And so I think it's going to be really awesome to see what this group can, um, is going to succeed at this year. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I know that I've had a lot of fun with this group already, and I know that the friendships are going to last forever, and I know that we're going to um, play together and, and have a lot of fun. Talk about your increased leadership role this year, you know, being voted captain back in the spring and, you know, what it kind of means to you to kind of be that, f that only four-year senior that's been here. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm just I've just taken on that role a little bit more and more every year. And obviously, being a captain, I want to um, be able to be that leader for this team, just to be someone that they can talk to. So I want to be that person that, that speaks up and um, says whatever is needed for that for the team, especially if we're like facing adversity in a game or uh, in practice if we're not having like the best day or whatever. And so um, just to be that role model, just to be that person with the voice, and also to lead by example. Being one of the most versatile players on the team, where do you see best fits you position-wise? You know, I love playing wherever, wherever the coach needs me. But um, I think I'm most comfortable at the two and three, but I'm also getting a lot of reps in at the four. And so I can see myself developing at that spot as well. So going into your senior year then, where do you think you've had the most personal growth out there on the court? And also, bigger picture, most growth within the program? over the last four years? You know, I think the most growth that I've um, had is just being more comfortable with the ball and um, in terms of ball handling and then being more aggressive to the basket. Um, when I was a freshman, I was very hesitant when I got the ball. I, like, didn't know exactly what I should do or, like, I'd rather give it up to someone else. And so I've definitely developed the, the my part of a game to just want the ball and to be that person that will, like, especially if we're, like, down a point or down two points at the end of the game, I want the ball and I want to be able to to get that shot up for, for our team and hopefully, um, you know, get that win for us.